Hello everyone, this is Akif Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. And guys, here I bring to you some amazing automation techniques by which you can do your work or business efficiently and hassle free. And in this video, I am back again with yet another amazing automation by which you can automatically create registrants for a Zoom webinar or meeting whenever any person makes the payment for that webinar, right? So now let me show you how it will look like, how the process will look like. So guys, the process we followed here is this. We have taken the help of Flutterwave to receive the payments. Okay, so why Flutterwave? Flutterwave is a payment gateway by which you can receive the payments. So as and when any person is making the payment for any webinar or meeting, the registrant who have made the payment will get automatically added here in Zoom application for any webinar or meeting. Yes guys, this can be done automatically and to make this happen, I am using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So guys, there is no native connection or integration between Flutter, Wave or Zoom. So with the help of Pabli, what will happen? These two applications will be connected together such that as and when you receive a payment, the person who, are, who is making the payment will be added automatically as a registrant for the Zoom webinar. And guys, the best part of making this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me show you the process on my screen of how you can also make this automation. So guys, you can see I'm in my Zoom applications dashboard here on my screen. And here I have created this meeting, digital marketing in a nutshell. Okay, so I have taken an example of a meeting but you can create a webinar also and you can use the same process for a webinar as well okay so uh, i am taking registrations for this meeting and people have to pay a registration fee to attend this meeting or webinar okay so we are collecting that fee from flutterwave okay so i have created a payment link from flutterwave application and as and when they submits the fee from this link that we have created from Flutterwave, the person who is making the payment will get automatically added here in my Zoom meeting as a new registrant. Let me show you. So I'm opening this link here. Okay. So this is the link of the payment for the registration for Zoom webinar. Okay. So I'm filling the details of the person who is going to make the payment. So guys, I have filled the name of the person as Shilpa Shinde and she is going to make the payment. So I'm clicking on pay here. Okay. And here you have to fill the card details. So I'm entering the test card details. This is not an original one. Just to show you the example. Okay. And I'm, I have clicked on pay and on proceed. Okay. So you can see. The payment is successful here. The payment is submitted for this uh, webinar or Zoom meeting that we are conducting. Now let's check in my Zoom application if the same person who have done the payment is added here or not. So here you can see in the registrants section, I'm going to click on view. And guys, here you can see in the registrants, a new person named Shilpa is added here automatically. Okay, with the email ID and the registration date as well. Okay, so this is how it is going to happen in real time. Now let me show you the process of automation by which you can also do this. So guys, first of all, you have to sign up here in Pabli Connect application. And to do this, you have to type pabli.com slash connect in your internet browser. And from this page, you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. Okay. After signing up, you can sign in and uh, when you sign in, you will reach this page, the all apps section of Pabli. From here, you have to click on this access now button of Pabli Connect panel and that will bring you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect here. Okay. And this is from, this is the place from where you have to start working by creating a automation workflow. So guys, to create a workflow, you just have to click here on create workflow button like this. And here you have to give a suitable name. You can give any name as you like. So let me fill the name of the workflow here. So guys, I have filled the name of the workflow as create registrant in Zoom from Flutterwave payment. Okay, now click on this create button and you will see your workflow getting created like this. 
and here in this page you the first two things you will find is this the trigger and the action so guys parallel connects automation work on this trigger and action thing the trigger says when this happens action says parallel connect do this all right so our trigger would be in, in this use case the trigger would be a new payment in flutter wave and the action to that trigger would be to create the resistant in zoom okay so first of all you have to click here on this trigger window and from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application so our, our trigger application is flutter wave okay so this is flutter wave select this okay and after this it will ask for this trigger event so our trigger event is payment captured or payment completed so select this payment completed option okay so this will generate this url and this is called as a webhook url so with the help of this we are going to connect flutter wave with pably connect okay and uh, so to connect flutter wave first you can follow these instructions okay so you have to go to a flutter waves account and in the settings you will find this webhooks option and there you have to paste this same webhook url link okay let me show you the process first of all click on copy here like this okay and as you copy it will start showing this waiting for the webhooks response okay so first of all you have to go to your flutter waves account or dashboard and from here you have to click on this profile icon like this and click on settings okay and from the settings page you will find this webhooks option here click on it and uh, okay so this is the field in which you have to paste uh, the url that you have copied so you can see already a url is pasted here so first let, let me erase this okay we are going to paste a new url here so okay i'm copying that again where it is it is here and paste it here in your flutter wave url field okay like this and then you just have to click on save here like this and you can see the webhook is edited successfully is showing up here okay now you can see in Pably Connect as I copied this, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you have to do a test submission or record so that we can capture the data of the payment here in uh, Pably Connect. Okay, so now we are going to do a demo payment again so that we can capture the data of the payment here. Let me show you. So I am opening the link again. So I am going to payments link and from this link only we are going to do a test payment or demo payment okay so you can see this is the page from where you have to fill the details of the person who is going to fill the pay, uh, do the payment so i'm entering the details here and the email id okay like this and here uh, i'm going to click on pay the amount okay and it will bring you to this page here i have to fill the card details and then click on proceed here i have to enter the otp and you can see the payment is done here now let's check in our pably connect if this payments data is captured here or not and you can see the data is captured here like this okay so you can see all the details it uh, it is showing about the payment the amount 25 usd okay with uh, card okay this is the name of the customer the email and all the things okay now what we want we want to add the same person as a new registrant in zoom for that what you have to do click on this action window and here you have to choose your action application which is zoom Okay, this is zoom here. Select the application and in this action event, we want to add this person as a registrant. So find the this option, add meeting registrant. Okay, for webinar, you can add this option, add a webinar registrant. For now, I'm using meeting registrant option. Okay, then click on connect here. And from this window, select this add new connection option. Then click on connect with zoom. Okay, so you can see if you are not logged in it will bring you to the login window of zoom as i have already logged in it it, it get automatically connected here like this okay 
So now it is asking which meeting in in which meeting you want to add this person as a, as a registrant. So when you click here, you will find all the meetings that you have created in Zoom. So our meeting is this. Let me show you. Our meeting is this one: digital marketing in a nutshell. So find this meeting here in this uh, drop down. I'm typing. Okay, so you can see here it is: digital marketing in a nutshell. Select this. And here in this email address and the first name, so it is asking the, the about the details of the person to whom you want to add as a registrant. So we got the details of the person here in this first tab, like this. So now you just have to map the data, uh, the, which is which it is asking here from the first tab. Let me show you how. So in this email address field, just click here, and you will find this flutter wave option. So click on this uh, flutter wave option and you, it will show you all the data that it has captured in the first tab only. Okay, like this. So from, from here only, you just have to click on the email ID and it will be mapped. So we map these details because as and when a new payment happened, Public Connect will automatically fetch the data and the data will be mapped automatically and the registrant will be created automatically. This is why we need to map these things. Okay. Now it is asking for the first name and the last name. Let me let us see if we have the details. Okay. So it is as uh, it is showing us the full name Wasim Khan. It is not showing the first name and the last name separately. Okay. So let me separate this name. We can separate this name also with the help of one feature by Pavli. Let me show you. So you have to uh, click here on this plus icon in between these two steps. And when you click on this plus icon, another action window will open up like this. And from here, you can choose text formatter. This is a feature by Pabli uh, from which you can separate the text. Okay, and here in this action event, you have to select this split text option. Okay. And then click on connect here. And now it is asking which text is you want to split. So I want to split the name. So when you click here, you will find the flutter wave option, click on it. And here you will find the name of the person who have done the payment. So this is the name of the person. Okay. So it is asking for the separator. So I want to split this name from, from this place, from this space. Okay. I want Vaseem one side, Khan one side. Okay. So for that, you have to just copy this space like this, put it here like this in double curly braces for this space. Okay. Now it is asking for the segment index. And when you click here, you will find this options first, second, last, second to last all. Okay. So if you have a string of text, long string of text, you can use these options. If you want first part of the string, you can you choose first. If you want the second part, you can choose second. If you want the last part, you can choose last option second to last. So these are the options available. Now I am selecting all I want all the things uh, in this string, we have first name and the last name. So when you select all it will separate both of these things. Let me show you. Click on save and send test request here. And you can see that the, the name is splitted like this. Okay. The same result one is nothing and result two is Khan. Okay. So this is how the text got splitted. Now we can map the first name and the last name separately. Let me show you. Now click here on this first name. Okay. So let me make the connection again. Okay. And here you can see when I click here, it will show me this text formatter by Pabli option. And when you click here, it will show you the first name separated map it. And similarly for the last name, find the last name from text formatter like this. Okay. And now it is asking for the address for the city, country, zip, state, phone number, etc. all the other details. So if you have all these details, you can map these details. Right now we do not have these details. Okay. So if you ask these details in the payment link only, it will show you the data here. But right now we do not have so I'm leaving these things blank. This is not compulsory things to fill. Okay. And it is asking purchasing time also. So, so guys, these are the some additional informations. If you want to add, you can add these things. Right now, I'm leaving these things blank. Okay. And here you can add a comment on also. 
And now when I click here on save and send test request, this person whose data we have mapped here will be added as a new registrant in our Zoom webinar or meeting. Okay. So I'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's see if the registrant get added or not. Okay. So you can see it started this kind of response. It generated a registration ID here and a joining URL as well. So let's uh, check in our Zoom application. Okay. So I'm closing this here and refreshing this. Okay. So you can see the registration registrants count became three here. Let's check now. And you can see Vaseem Khan is added here as a new registrant with all the details like this. Okay. So connection with zoom is working fine and our workflow is completed. Now let me show you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in this trigger application, we selected flutter wave application from where we are collecting the payments for the registration. Okay. Then with the help of this URL, we connected the application and captured the data of a demo payment here like this. After that, I applied text formatter to split the, split the text, this text, the name, because we need these first name and the last name split it so that we can map them properly here in this step. So in this step, I connected with my Zoom application to add the person as a new registrant for this meeting. Okay. Then we mapped the details required to create a registrant. So I mapped all the required details and I leave all these not compulsory details blank because we do not have all the data and as in when I clicked here on save and send test request you can see the person is added here in zoom as a new registrant okay so now you just have to click on save here and your workflow automation is completed and you can use this same workflow of automation uh, in your own free public connect trial account because I am going to paste the link of the same workflow so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the redfably.com. You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pabli Connect and automate your business with Pabli Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video.